If you've cruised around some neighborhoods lately, it's a safe bet you've seen Halloween vibes with all sorts of decorations. But a once empty church that was falling apart in Columbia County is now stopping traffic for a different reason. Newswatch 16's Ryan Lucky is live in Berwick to show us more. Good morning. Ryan, where are you? Uh... Guys, I'm live in a coffin, and here's a question for both of you. What do a corpse and Lucky have in common? Hmm. Let us know. We both have like embalming fluid in our face. Oh, that's true. Yes, Come on. A frozen face. True. I thought you guys would. I thought you would totally I, own we it. We figured so you were Tom going there with that. Way, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. As Mindy and Tom mentioned, we were hanging out in a 115-year-old church built as Halloween Central, the creation of this guy who actually took it over uh, years ago. So, Mikey, give me the history of this place. When was it created? It was built in 1906. It was a church for many years. A lot of people attended a lot of great ceremonies here. I hear it every day. I, I meet a lot of them. Actually, a lot of people that were in this church are, and that have died are in the stained glass windows and are buried across the street in the cemetery, which I thought was actually very interesting. And that's why I would never get rid of these, these stained glass windows because I think it, I like to pay homage to the people that helped create this church yeah. now that I'm recreating it now. And what's so amazing when we're looking at what you have done on the inside of this church, obviously a lot, a lot of black paint you use to change it over. What's the misconception people have about it? I think, uh, I think black is mysterious and I'm a mysterious person and my house is mysterious. I think when people see black, they think darkness, but I think black brings out, you know, the details and the art that's in here, the stained glass, the religious artifacts that I, that I collect. You know, um, just the details of the, of the construction that we're doing. I think uh, black, you know, I want people to think. I want people to use their head. I want them to question because I think we don't do that enough anymore. And I think it will inspire a lot of people around town to be excited for not only just construction, but Halloween. You know. I think what's amazing, by the way, you really wanted to take an old, empty, rundown church and bring it, this landmark, back to life in Berwick. By the way, speaking of other cool, creepy sites in and around our area, here are just some of the photos that you shared with me on a recent Facebook post, sort of what it looks like in your community. And it wasn't just the pictures, also some great videos how folks here in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania are really creeping it real this Halloween season. Man, let me tell you, some front yards, blocks they are decked out and they are quite spooky so thanks for sharing some of that content something interesting when you look around by the way at this 115 year old church turned into a gothic home it has gone viral mikey has more than 320,000 social media followers between tiktok and instagram people all over the world have actually checked out this church online and what else is pretty cool some pro wrestlers have shot some commercials and promos here that air on the TNT network. So it's pretty cool to be here today. And guys, I have to tell you, it's a good thing you're dead when you're in these coffins. They are the most uncomfortable. This is not a cozy bed. <laughs> kind of creepy. <laughs> we can get you a new mattress though. Yeah, that is a little creepy. All right, thanks Ryan. <laughs> thanks Ryan. Let's check it with Joe out back.